Hi guys! Today we are going to talk about Shadowhunters Season 1, which premiered last week. Premiered and dead. The beginning of this video is going to be spoiler free, and then at the end I will go a bit into spoiler e stuff, not that much, too much to cover. So let's just do this. Woohoo! How do I even start? Before I say something, I should probably say that if you enjoy this series and you don't want to listen to people who didn't, you shouldn't watch this video. This series, guys. <laughs> I don't understand anything, actually. I don't understand how this series turned out, how it turned out to be. It stands on Netflix, that is a Netflix original series, but obviously it's not, because Netflix don't make series like that. It makes me sad to think that this series could have been so different had it made by another network, had they had more time. The beginning of the season, it turned out to be quite awkward. All the characters were awkward, there was a lot of bad acting, but then, after a while, the plot... <sighs> the plot of this series reminds me of like some annoying drama. Like, not even a good drama, a really bad drama. And that really annoys me, because Small Intimates isn't a home and away, like a teenage drama. It can be dramatic, I'm not saying it couldn't be, but not in a way it is. I... I I, I, I wouldn't mind a series going away from the books if they did it good. Rarely people like it. It should stand on the beginning of the episodes, not based on the Mortal Instruments. It should stand vaguely based. I feel like we never got an explanation of even the fantasy world in the series. I feel a lot of the characters are... <sighs> At the end of the season, the characters starting to feel like the characters we know and love. But, but, but it took a while, and uh, yeah. And uh, the, the, the lines were less awkward after a while. That took a while too. And acting became better. So that's good things. It's just a series itself. I'm just trying to say that Shadowhunters is probably one of the worst television series I ever watched. <laughs> it would be bad even though I haven't read the books and I think I've said, seen people telling that you have to look at the books and the series separately because you can't be like expect the series to be as the books because they are not. But even if I looked at the series and pretended like the book plot, the book story didn't exist the series would just become worse then. It's not a good series made. People can enjoy it, but it's still not a good series. I don't hate it. I'm just like, why? I want this series to get better. I think it can get better. I would rather have one more movie. And I actually thought like, it wasn't good because it wasn't. <laughs> that good, but I would rather have like 10 of those movies instead of watching the thing I'm watching now. I'm laughing of myself. So many things I didn't understand. I started questioning everything, like why is he here? What is he doing? Why is that happening? And I don't understand a lot of things they added and it was just so much unnecessary drama and the lines are so bad and everything is so weird and I don't understand how this happened. It makes me so upset, okay? I don't know how, no, how to talk about Shadowhunters ever without starting laughing because it's like a joke. Can I just say it though? But before I seem like a complete evil little evil person, I really liked Alec. He he looks a lot of like Alec, and he's really handsome. Also, Magnus is doing a great job. He's the only one that doesn't didn't make me cringe the first time I saw him with his acting. It's not 
not not not like hundred percent mindless, but he's doing a really good job. So how to wrap this up? I try not to go too much into details, just like giving a general opinion about this series. I think it went better as we went further into the season. But seriously, every time I watch it, I'm just like, some movies, I'm just laughing because I don't understand. Like, I understand, of course, what's happening. I'm just like, why does it happen? <laughs> Going a bit into spoiler section. They, they they were on Valhunt's boat, which I need to add. It looked really cool. And uh, I think they're going to go for that. But, uh, and we went to the J's that I hate, <laughs> that I didn't like in the book actually, where it was like, I'm evil, and I wouldn't mind that, that he had that, like, period of his life, hadn't it been for it lasting like, five books, it was really annoying. <laughs> but I liked how he was really... Starting to feel like Jace, Dominic Sherwood, at the end of the season, the last few episodes, and I really appreciated that. So, more like. My OTP of all OTPs, and all the fans I'm in. Mm, one of the main reasons I was so excited to see this. And yes, they, 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 they made more like happen. Ish. They kissed. I, I literally screamed. I almost started crying. It was one of the greatest moments of the whole series, because I was waiting for it. And somehow, from all the circumstances around Malik, with the wedding, and Lydia, and Lydia was actually one of the good things in this series, just add it. She was really awesome, and I liked her character, even though, and she didn't exist in the book, and it was one of the good things they did, and I'm so happy about it, actually. But, um, but, but Malik, the kiss, and yeah, it was awesome, and I loved how they, how they make Malik something that they really care about, the Shadow Runners, at least. Malik still felt a bit insta lovey, and it, I, I hate saying that sentence, but Malik does not happen. They didn't even go on a date, they didn't even talk to each other properly, they were just had a few drinks, and then they barely knew each other, and suddenly Lydia was like, yeah, I know about my feelings for Magnus, and Alec was like, I'm so confused about my feelings. I was like, do you get feelings for someone from just flirting a bit with them? It felt insolvy. And, and and suddenly we come up to wedding and they're just kissing and Alec just went out of his closet in front of everyone. It took a while for Alec to come out in the book. He was like, wanted to keep it secret for so long and now we just exploded out. Maybe they wanted him out sooner, that's fine. But I didn't... Alec, Magnus, they, 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 they didn't know each other. And they didn't, they didn't, they haven't... In, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't want Malik to feel insolvent. I love Malik. So let's just wrap this up. I feel like there is more in my life. That I haven't mentioned, and there is more I might dislike more that I haven't mentioned. But I feel like this video is gonna last too long. I just. I'm gonna watch this series until the end of time, because that's what I do. I start series and I don't finish watching them until I'm done, no matter how much I feel enraged about them. I hope I didn't offend anyone with my opinions. That is not my intention at all. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon.